what's up so please go check out the previous past to gauge your bearings therefore um those people that feel as if though you're done listening to paul washer or you're done listening to vody buckham or you're done listening to melissa doherty or you're done you're literally losing out yourself if you've had if, yes you guys false preachers and teachers and evangelists and you know youtube channel account holders hey there's more there's so there's more of them than there are real sound doctrine people it is hard to come across the real gospel online especially online and even in your your country where you're chilling you might like drive from church to church and it's all dry amos 8 and 11 the day is coming when the lord is going to send out a fair man on the land not a fair man for food nor that of a thirst of water but of hearing the words of the lord yeah so when you find the one true guy or the one true girl hold on to them hold on false preachers are more numerous and plenteous than real ones and it is very tough to find a real true sound disciple because it takes listening to them intently berean style with the word of god and figuring out over one or two of the things that they've uploaded on youtube or instagram or wherever that this is something that is safe to listen to indefinitely i recently abandoned who i once was very affectionately drawn to the ministry of prophet lovi still praying for him because i'm berean and while when he speaks certain parts i'm like latching onto him he then drops these bombs that like make me twitch like you know like the other day he says that he said that judas is in heaven uh he says that the road uh to life is actually quite broad he said um that uh the presence of the lord is something that we have to uh cultivate in order for us to get like our breakthrough and our deliverance in life some people are walking around without the presence of god and that's why they're not getting where they need to get and then every yeah and look there are things that he says um that, that really just kind of throw me off my chair and i like need to come back kind of limping to give him another chance i i felt moved by his deliverance ministry because he looked truly reaching and truly anointed by the lord you know i'm very careful with charismatic ministries and people being slain in the spirit and falling apart but when a person sounds like he's walking in the ways that are greater than that christ walked in since he said we would do greater works than these i don't write them off i'm not one of those people that are so anti-charismatic movement that i write them off altogether like a bit of a john MacArthur who calls them all charismaniacs i don't i believe in the gifts of the holy spirit and christ you know that woman at the well who walked away saying i have met a man that told me everything i've ever done and prophet lovi tells people everything they've ever done so i did not want to write them off but you see it has to be in tandem with doctrine and biblical veracity you cannot be driving out spirits and like doing all these miracles while you have no respect for the word of god neither do uh, rightly divided so i latched on to him until i reluctantly walked away because i was so besotted with him and his ministry i reluctantly walked away because he just spoke way too much heresy for me to take him in my stride but i'm still praying for him because i feel like he's genuinely called he's just he is seeker sensitive and what is the word that i'm looking for he um he's afraid to call a spade a spade you can't be a prophet and not call a spade a spade he does not want to offend people he doesn't want to offend people and he subscribes to teachers that he should be broken off from like uh people that have over the years displayed themselves as wanting like who's this guy um who is this Oki? T.D. Jakes and what have you. Uh, he, he, he's scared to call a spade a spade and he's very celebrity focused. Like he, he, he doesn't call out the entertainment industry for the darkness that it is. He is too comforting of people in their sin, even though he's trying to call them out of sin, but he doesn't want to offend. He doesn't want to offend and the gospel is offensive. Do you understand what I'm saying? So because he doesn't want to lose favor with man, he is slowly losing favor with God. And when you are not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you into all truth, you will grow grab these scriptures and come up with all different kinds of your own doctrines own doctrines and lead men and women astray his understanding of angiology or demonology uh, is also unscriptural you know he says that satan never really got to see god when he was in heaven um and you know stuff like that like i don't know like he's just he's got these doctrines that you know just make me kind of twitch a little bit and yeah what have you so i've like walked away and i hope he'll come around because i genuinely am rooting for him type establishment thing i believe he's got a genuine gift from god but you know yeah whatever so that is uh prophet lovi so it took me a week and a half of binging 
Prophet Lovi, however, with stubbornness because I had already been twitching when I listened to him speaking. It took me binging hours upon hours of his content for me to finally walk away. So essentially, the discernment in me, the Holy Spirit in me, the understanding of God's word, the veracity caused me to refuse to have itching ears and follow after signs and wonders only because the guy's big on signs and wonders. He is a prophet and his prophetic ministry is very animated to use a better word uh, for less of a better word. It's very, very animated. And and so for a person struggling in my position, you might want to just kind of latch on to him and see all these people gyrating, grunting on the ground and manifesting demons and him casting them out. He appears really super anointed. All right. Yeah. But uh, in them seeking after all these miracles and signs and wonders, because they are intriguing to look at. I mean, it is a beautiful supplement to a sound biblical Christian to experience miracles, signs and wonders because miracles, signs and wonders sometimes deceive the lost, but they are a massive healing and a massive hope and an encouragement and a boost and a jolt for the true church. So. I wanted him to be the real deal because yo I've met a man that's walking in greater works than Christ said he would walk in he has fulfilled prophecy I look at prophet prophet Lovi and I see fulfilled prophecy in Christ where he's like you will do greater works than me I see it in him but you can't also then alongside being this prolific prophet you know that causes crowds to follow after you to fly from all the, I mean even the fact that people fly from all over the world to go and see him is not unbiblical or strange or him being a pump machine that is initiated by Nana Kwaku. It is what Christ did. People traveled from far and wide to go and see Jesus. So if people get out of their way, leave South Africa, buy a plane ticket to go to Los Angeles or California to see Lovi, it is what Christ did. It's, it's, it's It was the influence of Jesus. So I get that. But I was troubled by the fact that people are charged for those ministry, those, those uh, there, there are tickets that they have to buy in order to be at this like revival or this like prophetic deliverance like service. And upon filling up those halls, you would imagine that just donations alone collections alone would probably pay him a hefty salary but instead he charges that they charge a ticket a fee for that problematic Christ would never have done that you know those are the kinds of things that kind of make me be like walk away from stuff and on top of that you cannot be so prolific um, a, 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 a prophetic like a person working in them like moving in the gifts of the Holy Spirit you cannot be that way and not be doctrinally sound because prophecy needs to come with the word of God that's how you validate that it's not a false prophet you validate because you know them by their fruit and that the, the doctrines that they walk in are adherent to the Lord's word because there will be many miracles and signs and wonders in these last days that will deceive if possible even the elect of God but we come out from that using what? the word of God so he's not sound his doctrine is off entirely the guy needs to take a hiatus a, a sabbatical to go and study the word truly he should probably go to Dallas Theological Seminary yeah he must go there because that's I think a school in the US that's really good then he can walk in his gifting but currently he is is just like throwing like pens and toys and whatnot out the cot uh, and the fact that celebrities are also drawn to his ministry is another reason he needs to be more responsible because he can actually rescue them for Christ instead he's scratching their itching ears so to find a sound prophet a sound preacher a sound evangelist a sound you get my point is hard to come by the one that you can hold on to literally let yourself go relax you know remove brass straps that are grooving into your skin and just like chill and listen to that to find a preacher like that that you can be so relaxed in because you have gauged him against the word of God to be sound is hard when you find him or her you hold on you hold on because it's very hard to find them these days look at how long I lingered after prophet Lovi and now I've moved on and I don't know what to do with myself because I'm sad that I had to move on I, I, I anxiously waited outside of his ministry until eventually I realized no I can't stay here so when you find somebody that you can stay there with that you know you can actually fall asleep when they're talking because they're not going to be bringing in destruction of heresies in your sleep and so therefore subconsciously afflict you in your nightmares that is a person you don't just walk away from they're hard to come by they're few and far between and when you find them do not afflict them with carnal like recommendations or carnal mistreatment of their person or just throwing in the towel on them they're hard to come by they work hard by the sweat of their brow and they're trying to bring uh, souls into the kingdom and you're you're discouraging them you're discouraging them especially considering they're hard to come by will the lord find faith on the earth no hardly any and so when you find a faithful servant of god hold on to them stop hurting them next part